Hey everyone! Have you ever wondered how can you host Zoom meetings and webinars right in your WordPress website? If you did, then you are at the right place because in today's video we are going to review an amazing plugin called eRoom that will allow you to do so. So if you are ready, let's start! Let's open up our laptops and start from the very beginning. And the very beginning is, of course, plugin installation, which is extremely easy to do. All you need to do is to click on plugins, then add new, and on the search line type your own. Over here it is. Click on install, then activate. As you can see, I already have it installed and activated. So let's access it from the left side of the menu bar. We have tabs such as Meetings, Webinars, Users, Add User, Reports, Assign Host ID and Zoom Settings. Basically, we need API key and API secret key over here in order to connect the Zoom to this plugin and be able to host webinars and meetings. We even have a guide on how to do so, I will leave the link down below. We can generate password, but I will leave this option off for now. Also, in the Zoom settings, we have certain short codes and import and export, where we can copy settings and export. Now, let's go to the Meetings tab and try to add a new meeting. To add a new meeting, all you need to do is to click on Add New and also sync with Zoom meetings. Wait till it is synchronizing and it's done. Now, click on Add New. Now all you need to do is to type the title, which is for the test meeting is going to be a new meeting 1.0, let's say. Then we have post settings, where we can type meetings agenda, so that users are much more familiar when about what you are going to talk or discuss. Also we need to assign meeting host, because I'm currently the only user in this plugin, registered for this plugin, I'm just assigning myself. You can add users later. Here is also approved or denied countries list. We can approve certain countries or deny certain countries or just leave this option and don't do anything with it. Also, we have meeting date and meeting time, which we can accordingly change. Meeting time zone, make sure to choose the right time zone. I'm just going to choose the random one right now, for example, Qatar. We have meeting duration, let's set 10 minutes for example. Also we have meeting password, make sure to generate password that users will be able to remember or just send them reminder emails with it. Also we can turn on or off certain options such as waiting room, allow participants to join anytime, host video, participants video, mute participants upon entry and we can as well add alternative hosts to the meeting. Also, there is an option to require authentication to join so that users have to sign in to Zoom in order to be able to join your meeting, but we are not going to allow this option. Afterward, all you need to do, all that is left to do basically, is to add a featured image. You can skip this step, but I will recommend to add it. Let's add something random, for example, this one, let's say we're talking about home decor. And here is the permalink with which we can review how the users from the front end will see our meeting. And here it is. We have the timer that shows in how many days, hours, minutes, and even seconds meeting is going to start. We have featured image and under the featured image we have agenda of the meeting. We have title, dates, users will be able to add the meeting to their Google or iCloud export. We have the password of the meeting displayed right away. And options to join in browser or with Zoom. So when users click join in browser, they'll be joining Zoom meeting. However, we haven't started it, so let's go back and now let's add a webinar. In order to add a webinar, you basically do the same steps just in the webinar tab. You sync with Zoom webinars, then you click on add new. Now type the webinar title, webinar agenda, after agenda you can type 
or you can choose the webinar host, then date for the webinar, time, again the time zone, let's again set it to Qatar, webinar duration, webinar password, and the same options uh, such as waiting room host video, participants video, etc. that you can enable or disable uh, whatever makes you feel more confident or whatever your meeting or webinar is requiring you to do. Afterward, you can also set the featured image over here and just hit the publish button and visit it from the permalink that you are going to send to your users and here is the timer again displayed that the webinar is going to start in 4 hours and users basically will be able to see it and know when to expect the webinar. Now let's go back to the backend and see the other uh, tabs available for this plugin. So we have users tab where we can find all the users registered within and see the information about them such as host ID, email, name, last name, etc. And we can always clear the cache. Then we have add users tab where we can basically add new users by filling out certain information choose the action and then fill out email, first name, last name and user type. Also we have reports and analytics tab where we can basically choose the timing and review the analytics for the specific meetings. Assign host ID option that is for developers and the zoom settings which we already have reviewed. And on the last tab we have the upgrade option that shows us the pricing plans the pro versions basically and the main difference between them is that uh, they are available for multiple sites, basically more than one site and there is an annual or lifetime option for each. So guys, that was all I wanted to tell you. If you like this video, do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in this topic. Also check out the description down below where you can find the links to this amazing plugin. See you in the next video. Bye!